Hey, good morning. Welcome back. We're in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 2, verses 15 to 20 today. Here's what it said. So it was when the angels had gone away from them into heaven that the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has come to pass, which the Lord has made known to us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. Now when they had seen him, they made widely known the saying which was told them concerning this child. And all who heard it marveled at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told them. So remember, yesterday morning, these are the shepherds that are keeping their sheep. Baby Jesus is born over here, you know, way off in the, in the barn situation. And they go to check it out because the angels gave them the message. Uh, today, there's wonderful things have happened. This is a, a mighty day. And so the shepherds, they must have left their sheep there, didn't bring their sheep down there. And they go down and they see the baby, the little infant baby, that, that little helpless baby. But he's the Messiah. So they tell what the angels told them. This isn't a normal situation. This isn't a normal kid. This is not going to be uh, just another thing. This is a big thing. This is from God. And so we have this humble situation. Notice that Mary's response, verse 18, all those who heard it marveled at the things that were being told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. So she's thinking about the things. Not only what Gabriel told her at the beginning, and now nine months later, baby's born, and now the shepherds come. So this is actually a help to Mary's faith, as if she needed more. But here they come, and the angels have already been talking to them. And so I'm sure this was, this was the heated conversation that came that evening. Not heated in a bad way, but heated in, in a glowing, wonderful, loving way. Hope for Joseph and Mary and for all humanity, because God has intervened. God has sent Jesus on this extraordinary mission and here he comes, a little tiny baby, our Savior he's going to be. So friends, the shepherds return glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told them. In other words, when the angels told them this was it, they, they came down, they, they saw, saw it with their own eyes, and they said, yes, what those angels told us, that's what we've just experienced. God does break into his world, and it's a good thing. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for breaking into our world in the, in the biggest way you could have in sending Jesus. Now, Lord, please, also our little lives, we pray that you would break into our little lives because of and through Jesus. Lord, help us to be your, your servants as well. May Jesus empower us. May Jesus be our Savior. May his blood cover our sins. May the gifts you give him transform us and change us so that we are like him, more and more like him in character. This is the, 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 the desire that you've put into our heart, and we thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. May God bless you today. It's some tiny fraction of the, of the big blessing that those shepherds had on that wonderful evening and morning.